Ooh, hello everyone. Guess what? It's the fourth day of the landing. Oh my god, they're all in the first end. What the heck? Versus kings. What is this? A setup? Ooh. Oh my god, this is like the inevitable people. Oh, oh. my god, this is how oh. we're starting this session off. Hello, everybody. Holy hell. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. First hand. Holy Get shit it. is right, T-Pool for poker. Oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't even have a chance to do an introduction or anything. <laughs> that was literally the very first hand we saw at the table is Aces vs. Kings. Holy shit. Oh. And there's no hand on the right table. What if this gets called and like Bill's right? What is happening? All right, it's, it's the chaos. fourth session. It's chaos. Fourth session, and we are starting off with a boom. With I, a I, like, I like money. And it's I also like not one. having to be emotionally invested into, um, especially in, in someone like Bill, like we don't know what version of Bill is going to show up, you know? know? And like, it's the human element with... is just a little too much for me to be betting on this. I've been impressed with, uh, we have a four bet and a call left table. Uh, Bill, four bets, Lynn calls. Lynn's going to be a three bet calling a, a pretty big portion of his range, actually. Bill checks back on the 10. Which you would think this would be a board he's going to see that often, but if he has a hand like Ace King, Ace Queen suited, uh, check back, perhaps mixing in some over pairs, not too often, but let's see what happens here. When so I'm not you obviously as a coach and you know as a longtime like uh, studier of of the game of poker, I'm not you know really well-versed in the heads up game, especially heads up cash. Uh, what kind of range would you see heads up with a four bet? Like what's a four betting range? What's a four betting range? And what's a four, like calling a four bet range? So you call, I believe it's, oh, let, let, I will talk about that in one second. We see a call from Bill on the left table laying about 8,000 and 20,000. And will we see the jam? It's a bit of an odd card to jam on, but Landon does have some pair, some eight X. Uh, Bill doesn't have too many over pairs here. Um, perhaps he has some eight X in his range, but it's probably more ace high oriented. And he does have the ace king Boom. Button, buttons all all across the screen. Love to see. You it. get a button. You get a button. You get a button. <laughs> <laughs> Fat train, just the goat behind the scenes. Honestly. What is, what is your what is your prediction today with the young Tice going down forty thousand? How does that feel to start? I mean, losing an eighty thousand dollar pot very first hand. So I I have as someone who has a ton of experience is losing forty thousand dollars in one hand. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's just another day, and it's just another day, right? Um, I would say like you have to think about there's so many variables, right? Like getting king's heads up and getting action, you're like, okay, pumped, right? But getting coolered in that spot, it's such a deflating, it has to be such an emotionally deflating thing. And for the session to start out that way it has to be like an uphill battle for sure. So this is really gonna test his mental game. And if he's been, and if that's something he's been working on, then I think he might have a chance to like keep it even keel and, you know, potentially try and minimize the damage. But that's a, a heartbreaking start for sure. We see the raise from Landon on the left table on the ace board, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Bill bets two thirds. Um, I'm going to assume Bill's going to call most of his ace X here. It'd be kind of weird not to, I think. Um, this card's obviously going to favor Landon. And he goes for the raise to non all in. No, okay. Yeah, non all in. Uh, we'll leave Landon 7,000 back, essentially. This is an interesting bet size. I know that this is one of those like mind fuck bet sizes where you're like, why would they do that if they didn't want me to call, you know? It's like... I, I just don't see that being a thing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think you just wanna polarize yourself there, but that is a pretty interesting, pretty interesting for Bill. I wonder if he's ever turning a hand into a bluff, like he goes for thin value with like maybe a hand like King 10, King Jack. Um, I didn't see exactly how it played out on Turner River, or I th it looks like it was just like check haul, check check, bet two thirds raise. I think that I mean that's the only thing that makes sense to me, because that'd be like kind of one of your sexier bluffs. Mm -hmm. uh, having a jack or a ten is definitely a card you're gonna want to have. 
Um, especially when Landon doesn't bet the turn, he's, he's going to check back some Jack tens, but uh, for the most part, that's going to be his, you know his primary uh, candidate to barrel big on the turn. King Queen high flop, uh, King turn, yeah, that's just a very good candidate to bet. So it's very hard for Landon to have Jack ten in that spot. So on the right table, we see the big bet from Landon, five thousand, eight thousand. Bill with the relatively quick call. With the ten, yeah, that's easy. I would no. I was just saying uh, prior to the challenge when he first, um, you know, I don't know if he called out or asked Bill or whatever he did. I was wondering if he had uh, an idea what he could beat at the time perceived a recreational for at heads up poker as a mm -hmm. you know primarily a six max cash player um, because you would think you'd want to have a lot of experience against you know you'd be wanting to check your feet d four how you've played you know thousands of hands against other guys like what you beat them for. Um, I was wondering if he just had an idea or if that was straight up like, okay, Doug beat Daniel for nine big blinds. I bet I can beat Bill for nine big blinds. I wonder if it was just as simple as that because that, that would be very ballsy to do, right? Spotting nine. I mean, ballsy, stupid, arrogant. I don't know. Like we call it. <laughs> like, there's so many. I love it, man. I, I love, I love the, uh, the youth it. going after it. <laughs> Bill with the big double barrel or no way. This is a three bet pot, I believe. Must be a three bet pot. Um, followed by a check, check. Big bet by Bill, I believe. On the turn, Bill can definitely have all nine tens here. Uh, Landon can have some of his weaker ace x with this line. Uh, hands, particularly ace two suited, three ace five suited. Um, all mix in some frequencies uh, in three bets, which definitely may play a similar line. Goes check, check. So we're going to find out what they have the jack nine. Oh, Landon won the king Bill queen high. Oh, checked, I missed all that. Yeah, Bill checked oh, the position. So if he has a worse king, maybe maybe oh, some yeah. worse king highs that have some showdown. But like Perhaps other than some that, worse king high. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, okay. I, I misread that. I thought uh, I thought Bill checked on the uh, king high one. You see a three bet pot on the right table by the young Tice, going for the overbet on the ace king three. Uh, 110% and Bill with the relatively quick call. Once again, the flush gets there on the turn and there is an SPR of slightly over one. What does the young Tice do? I think we're going to see an on pot. But I want to see violence. All right. It gets it gets over to Bill. He's, Tell us how you I'm, really feel. I just want to see a lot. Robert, of, I want, I want like... Mm -hmm. I want a 200k win by somebody, uh, then them to be down 100k, up 50k, up 100. I just want to see a bunch of all ends. Now, what do we think Bill has here? A lot of ASX, I guess. Um, you don't. The thing is, when somebody bets 110, you don't have to call very often, right? Because um, Landon shouldn't be betting 110 very often. So you could probably end up mucking quite a lot of your, you know, uh, your weakest. Uh, King X and you know your third pair type of hands and all, a lot of your you know your Queen Jack Queen Ten stuff like that Jack Ten uh, even with the Diamond against the one ten percent we see a third pot bet after going one ten on flop by Landon and I think Bill does have some flushes in the check back range here actually how light do you think I was just going to say how light do you think Bill is calling King Queen no Diamond oh. I mean, poor me and Chris like had the struggle we had to do. I like your mic setup. I didn't really need that. Mine was so echoey. Look at that! I got the I got the pro patch just on oh, the mic. I love it. Yeah. Three bet pot on the right table. Landon with a big bet. This is gonna be pretty coordinated for both ranges here. We're gonna see a lot of big bets on the 1065 to spade board. And Bill with the call. 10 should slow down Landon quite a bit, which probably you're gonna see uh, a lot of checks here. As Bill is naturally going to have more 10X in his range, um, including like Jack 10 plus. You're quiet, your, your audio is going down just a tiny bit. It seems like maybe you're talking a little more quiet. Mine has? Yeah, just I'm a just little. Act, I'm actually whispering, so that's why. Uh, Bill had ace high. Okay, okay. Landon does go for the block on the turn. 
uh, which I was going to say, if he does choose a sizing, it's generally going to be small, um, including a lot of his flush draws, including some uh, 7, 8, 8, 9 tubes and stuff like that. And the 6 river comes. Interesting. What kind, has... of what kind of hand is just um, choosing, you know, two streets of calling if you're Bill? I mean, he's going to have all 6x, he's going to have all flush draws, he's going to have all 5x, and of course he's going to have a bunch of 10. We see the all-in. And I'm going to assume we're going to see a fold if it's not a snap call. Um, Bill is going to call something like 6x and 10x there. 6x is just going to have to be a call. And then uh, what am I laying? Uh, Landon has a few bluffs there. Yeah. He has to coordinate uh, well with blocking um, Bill's calling range. Something like Queen Jack suited uh, might, might be one of his better bluff candidates blocking the Jack 10 and Queen 10 calls. There's just so many 10x in each each player's range. Uh, you're three betting like 10 7 suited. Bill's going to be calling like 10 6 suited plus. I mean, it's there's there's just so many 10x there. What's the worst? Uh, what's the best 10x that you're just flat or the worst 10x that you would choose to flat with versus uh, three bet with? It's the offsuit variety, right? So like hand like 10 7 off, you're going to call hand like 10 7 suited. You're going to three bet. Um, of course, you're going to mix these uh, ranges. You know, hand like 10-8 suited, 10-9 suited, jack-10 suited plus. All these hands, um, all these hands are going to be three bets, but your offsuit variety. And then when you start to get to like ace-10 off, it's just a very standard three bet. You know, like mixing in some some worse 10x at a smaller frequency. On the left-hand table, the 70% bet by a bill on the 6-4 deuce 10 queen takes it down you know you play 12 hours to all day to play one tournament if it's a one day tournament versus the amount of tournaments you can play in 12 hours online the amount of hands you see online is exponentially more or bet and live mr perkins here the one thing i did notice in the first two matches was when bill got four bet that man put in the fifth bet and said let's test it and we see a call from the young Tice monotone board. We're gonna see a lot of bets here from Bill. If you see a lot of bets, so then he's gonna bet a little smaller. So like third pot Mon here, quarter pot. He's gonna be betting something like in between 20 and 30 uh, with an emphasis on something like 20. Monotone boards, paired boards, generally they play the same. 20% mm -hmm. um, is gonna be the optimal strategy here, uh, regardless of it being a four bet pot. That's just kind of how it plays out. And the thing is, Landon just whiffs here quite a bit. I mean, he has like, you know, hands like eight, nine suited that has to, you know, seven, five suited, seven, six suited, six, eight suited. And then, you know, of course, a lot of the times he's going to flop a flush or he's going to flop an eight high, right? Um, Are we surprised by this double check by Bill here after four betting pre? <sighs> is this a hand perhaps, like perhaps? What kind of what kind of I hand mean, is this? Is this like you know, he can have some kings, queens, jacks. You know, uh, I never really asked. He never has tens with this line, but kings, queens, jacks, um, some ace x, some weak ace x, and he does have the jacks with the jack of hearts. Um, I'm surprised no bet on most... the turn, especially having the jack of hearts. I, I like the check. I think um, you know, letting land and turn his worst hands into a bluff uh, on river. You know, um, I think it's good. He he would just have a snap call on river and uh, be pretty happy with it, but I think he played that well. Uh, of course, he can just go for a small bet on flop, um, but then you're just getting in some weird territories if Landon never check raises, but I don't think Landon's gonna have too many check raises there. But Landon does flat hands like ace-jack off plus, I believe that's the range. Um, uh, MT is asking why they reset stack. So that was an agreed upon uh, decision that they've said uh, whenever they get to uh, 300 big blinds, uh, they will reset. If you like your 30s, you absolutely love your 40s. Fair enough. Oh, uh, yes. well, let's, let's get there. You know, let's hold. All right, we see a three bet from Mr. Landon, and he goes for the 30% on flop here. King 7 4. He's going to have hands like 5 8 suited, 5 6 suited, a lot of King X in range. I mean, he can have hands like King 6 suited as well at a lower frequency, of course. Uh, king queen king jack plus um, both players gonna have five six suited in range bill gonna have uh, a little bit more sets here having fours and threes um 
and we see the 40% pot by Bill on the left table. This is a card I wouldn't really expect Landon to be checking, check folding that often, to be honest. Um, it, it, it's somewhat of an interesting spot because a lot of Landon's like 5x, 6x are always going to be bluffing. So once he checks, it's not going to be too many like ace high type of fans because I don't think he's going to be betting all of those on flop. Mm -hmm. And 24,000 in the river. What will Bill do here on the 7 river? Uh, Landon has all 7x. I'm looking uh, for a jam here. I want a jam. Uh, check, check. Bill does take it down with a king X. Landon probably with a second pair type of hand over cards to the seven. Maybe a hand like ace four suited. There's another. There's another example of like Bill just decided that he didn't have it in him to bet calls, so he just chooses to check back. But I think that's a spot where he could probably extract a little bit of value. Ah, uh, the problem is Landon has all the seven X, right? So Landon has like a seven suited, six, seven suited, seven, five suited. Um, you know, it sucks because you can get check raised. Now, Bill's not going to be betting seven X on the turn very often. So uh, the nut range advantage is going to be going to Landon for the most part on river. I'd have to assume, you know, he's going to be trapping some five, six uh, as well on turn but probably not as often but we're only talking about four combos of five six right where versus all the other seven x combos there's a lot of seven x combos in range um that bill just simply doesn't have by betting 40 percent on turn uh it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense that seven x on turn doesn't really accomplish anything you know a, a, a quote-unquote protection bet or some what mergy bet is a, an old school mentality it's not really mm -hmm. a thing anymore. Triple range merge. I don't know if you guys are old enough for that one, but uh, or been in the poker scene long enough for the triple range merge. But that was uh, that was quite dumb. <laughs> that was back when people were just guessing. Oh sometimes. my gosh, I was the best at guessing. And Bill taking extending uh, his lead here, taking down another eleven thousand left pot with second pair. <laughs> what is up, P. Rose? Gang, gang, gang. P. Rose, hello, hello. And we see the big check raise by Tice. Four X check raise on the eight turn. Once again, both players have the four, five, nine, ten combos in the range. And we Ooh. see a shove by Bill leaving a whole dollar sixty back. You know, maybe folds if shoved on and wants to save the dollar sixty. Why does he do that? Can somebody, do like, you have a number? Can you attack him? Like, why do you leave a dollar sixty back? I just want to know. You know, I just want to know. Big pot. You no, know, it's it's so interesting really now because there. now I've picked up on t at least two different uh, check raise sizing from Landon on the turn. I've seen him do a ten x check raise sizing, and and then that one was at a three or four x. I believe it was a three x. Four x. Four x. Four x. Okay. Three K. Yeah. Three K. Twelve K. Shove. Oh yeah, there it was. Three K. Twelve K. So. This will be this is a this is a fun one. I wonder if Bill just had it or if he picked up on something because of that sizing. Because now, you know, we've seen a couple different sizings for the check raise on the turn. Uh all wants to know, can you remind us what the deal is? Landon gave X pre-challenge. What were the terms? You are welcome. Go ahead, Robert. Mr. Coon. Nine big nine big blinds per 100 spot. So a seven hundred and twenty thousand dollar spot. Right, so if Landon wins by ten thousand dollars, so if Landon wins by seven hundred thirty thousand dollars, he technically only wins ten thousand dollars. However, they have a side bet at I believe par at spot uh, for two hundred thousand dollars on the side, or maybe it's hundred thousand each. I don't know which one. Um, I think it's two hundred k side bet, but maybe it's a hundred k each. And then I think there's probably other bets on the table. I'm sure Perkins has found a way to put millions on himself. This guy. He's not afraid of the, uh... okay, well, we see a big pot here. I actually did not catch the action on flop. I just saw, okay, there was a bet on flop, and I just missed it. I was looking at the right table. Um, this just has to be a three-bet or four-bet pot. Has to be a three-bet pot, slash big bet or something. And 26,000 in the middle here. What will Bill do with an SPR of one? We can definitely see some chubs here. Goes with the check. A very safe three. And 
Let's see. Will we see some fireworks on the river and see the 75k pot? Oh boy. Fireworks. Tice is putting him in a spot. Bill, what does he do with a hand like Jack 10? What does he do? I mean, he has he's gonna call Queen X, right? Um, but what is you know, what is his worth? What is his best bluff catcher here? So I guess a hand like 10 9 is gonna be okay. Um, unblocking some hands is pretty good here. Hey chat, what's the what's the worst hand you're calling with here if you're Bill? Well, Bill is in the tank. We'll, now give, we it, saw we'll give a the... chance for the chat pros to be the pro. Be pro pro chatters. Come on. Bill folds. And Bill takes it down. And I'm guessing we do see the sit out. Yep. Good session by Bill there. I mean, that's gonna be, we'll see, maybe 48k, something like that. Uh yeah. And yeah, here is the not. win loss grab, I believe. Is this, this amount um, of hands? Let me see. So is this pots one versus pots loss? I'm guessing. I don't know which player. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing Perky, one Perky more won the green line, and Tice is the red line. But more importantly, Perkins is up on the match after a hot start with the aces versus kings. Overall, uh, we didn't see. This is probably the match with by far the least all ends. We saw like a few all ends, but we didn't see calls. Yeah, um, it's you know what's so. crazy. It started off with a bang. <laughs> A massive bang. An, abs an absolute bang. I don't know if we can, uh, perhaps if Pablo is listening, uh, perhaps we can see Perkins' uh, cash graph on our end uh, and just see, because it kind of went a little flat line there in the middle. Um, he was chipping up nicely at all the way to around 80K. Landon won the big pot, ace four versus jack eight of hearts. Uh, back to wearing a flush. I mean, if Bill wins that, you know, that's, that's you know, $80,000 swing right there. Yeah, it's a different game. Okay, I think that is going to wrap it up. Miss Ebony Kenny, it was an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for hopping on. Um, hey, guys, I don't, we don't know when the next match is. We don't know who the next commentators are, but it's you know uh, it's going to be two ACR pros. Uh, whoever it is, it doesn't matter who it is. It's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> Love y'all. I am out. Cheers, happy guys. oh happy birthday uh happy early birthday to fat train oh i thought also. you were gonna say me fuck me <laughs> wait when, when, when's his birthday is it tomorrow at midnight oh okay that's like okay that's acceptable i thought you were about to say i was like oh, 10 days early that's fine but okay yeah happy birthday to the man behind the scenes and these badass graphics that i helped him on um the, the fire all the replays the man behind uh bringing up all the tables the one and only justin kelly fat train Happy birthday. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. Take it easy. Good night, everyone.